one of you guys requested this video and i won't lie this is probably one of the hardest questions i've ran into so let's go over it check it out we got two identical rectangular prisms that each have a height of 90 centimeters so from that we only know that this is 90 centimeters the base of each prism is a square so this part is a square but it doesn't tell you what the side length of that square is so let's just label that with side lengths of s the surface area of that whole prism is going to be k so both of them are k if the prisms are glued together along a square base the resulting prism has a surface area of 92 over 47 times k centimeters squared which they didn't use a fraction but it's gonna be okay what is the side length in centimeters of each of the square base we're trying to find s so all of these answer choices represent the side length. Step one is going to find the surface area of both of these prisms when they are connected at the square base. So let's visualize what the heck is going on. We're going to take this and connect it to the square base right here. It's not a perfect picture, but this is what's going to happen. This part right here and the bottom of the square of this prism is no longer going to be exposed. And that is an important part to this problem. So what does that mean? That means the total surface area of this new shaped stack together is going to be 2K, but we are not exposing those two squares. So we got to subtract 2S squared. And that represents the two squares that are not exposed once again. That is going to equal 92 over 47K from what this says. From here, we got to solve for K. So let's bring this S term on the right side and bring the K term so it combines with that one. These are going to cancel out right here. And now we're left with 2K minus 92 over 47K. These cancel out right here equals 2S squared. These terms in purple, we can combine like terms. And if you don't have a calculator, you could just multiply this part right here by 47 over 47 to get like denominators which will then give you 94K over 47 minus 92K over 47. And that simplifies to 2K over 47 equals 2S squared. And to get K by itself, multiply by the reciprocal of 47 over 2. All those will cancel out and you get K equals, the 2 cancels out right here, S squared times 47 or 47S squared. That is probably the hardest part of the problem. Step two, which is just finding the surface area of one of the rectangular prisms. So let's redraw that one more time. Surface area is just adding up the area of each of these panels, and there are six panels. We said that that had a height of 90 and a side length of S. So to find the surface area of that, which is K, that will be defined as two of the squares. So that would be S times S or S squared for the top and bottom. And we're going to add it to the four panels of this rectangular prism. One of the panels is going to have a dimension of a rectangle, which is S times 90. But don't forget that there are four of those panels, two in the front and two in the back. So we're going to have to multiply that by four. Simplifying some stuff, that's going to be 2S squared plus 360S equals k so once i have this we can move on to the last step which is to solve for s and we could solve for s by using substitution in step one we found k in terms of s and we could use that to substitute it for this value of k in step two that's going to be 47 s squared to replace k and that's going to equal 2 s squared plus 360 s from here it's just a simple factoring problem where you subtract 2 s squared and we might as well subtract 360s to equal that to zero. Solve for s by factoring s out and we're left with 45s minus 360 equals zero. So that means that s could equal zero, which cannot be one of the answer choices because you can't have a length of zero. Or we can take this expression and set that equal to zero and solve it. And that will get me s, which equals eight. Honestly, if you could solve that in under a minute, you are a straight up beast. If you got a faster way to solve this, please let us know in the chat. Hopefully this was a good review for you. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.